also, it's your boy Joker. Like, hey, we about to react to Joker react to the Suicide Squad. I guess he gonna react to the Suicide Squad trailer. And it was a, a request for somebody that had comment saying I should react to this. So, to me, Suicide Squad was it was an okay movie. It was like a it was like a B minus movie or a C plus movie to me. I wish they had showed the Joker a lot, a lot more in that movie. They could have did so much, like, they could have did something different for that movie. But it was okay. It was all right. But, hey, let's get into this. Yes, double-double with fries well done. Let me see how it works. Of course I want real onions. Mr. Richards, your 2 o'clock is here to see you. Ah, yes. Come on in. That's the that's the first joke Pardon right me. there. I think. Hey Dick! How's it hanging? Uh pretty pretty well. Uh Joker, how how about yourself? Not great. Dickle is not great at all. I just took a stroll down to the local multiplex to catch a matinee of Suicide Squad. A film you assured me was to feature a bold new take on the clown prince of crime. And most definitely not take a hot steaming dookie on my legacy. So what yeah, did you Yeah, they did not show him at all. It was awful. A travesty. A human rights violation. Mm. I had to go and watch Green Lantern again just to wash away the stench of that incoherent <laughs> abomination. Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. I've read Tumblr fanfics with a better joker in it. First off, the look is all wrong. Look at me. I've got style. I had no problem with him looks. Real panache. What about this? Reads tattoos, a grill, and no shirt, huh? And what the hell is with damage right on the forehead? I'm the Joker! People get that I'm not all there. <laughs> it should have just said try hard on his forehead. That would have been more subtle. Now wait, David Ayer explained on Twitter that his Joker has the tattoos after Batman punched his teeth out and sent him to Arkham Asylum. Uh, so he's showing that Batman damaged him? Do you really think that that's a good reason? <laughs> hey, I Actually, like his yeah, voice, though. He sound like, like the joke, too. It does sound pretty dumb. And what were you thinking with Harley and me? What? You guys were a cute couple. Yes, that's exactly the problem. We're not supposed to be hashtag relationship goals. No. We're supposed to be the no. textbook example of an abusive relationship. I don't really love Harley. Hell, I've thrown her out more buildings than I can even count. The only person that I truly I love they besides showed it, my like they fight is old Batty Boy. But you had to muck all that up by making us a pair of lovesick puppies. Making me look like an emotionally dependent rube and Margot robbing Harley of her empowering moment when she finally realizes that she's better off without me and leaves. I'm sorry, Joker, but all that abusive stuff wasn't testing well with our focus groups. Oh, we can't have that. We can't have a villain who's known for committing some of the most heinous crimes no, in comic saying. book history ever do anything bad. It might make people feel uncomfortable. But it's totally okay for Slipknot to just punch a woman in the face. Slip who? <laughs> Slipknot. The, the, the rope fellow? You're the fur one to die, boy. Full disclosure, no. And we haven't even touched on the film's disjointed tone, sloppy editing, and dialogue that sounds like it was written by a five-year-old. Honestly, it's like you folks want these films to be terrible. <laughs> Suicide Squad could be a whole lot better movie. Oh, Joker, you finally figured it out. What? Of course we want these films to be terrible. Look, we know that we're never going to catch up to Marvel. They've had years to build up their cinematic universe. We don't have that luxury. The superhero blockbuster bubble has got maybe five good years left in it before it pops. That's why we started playing the short game. We're not looking to build a lasting legacy. We want to make a quick buck. And the best way to do that is by stirring up controversy. Hmm. I'm not following. <laughs> See, we don't make movies. We make trailers. Flashy, style-over-substance trailers that rally back. Fanboys who just want to see their favorite comic book moments on screen. <laughs> the movie, of course, turns out to be a sloppy mess that critics give an average oh, man. The best. They would that's indeed. all part of the plan. Because we could a whole bunch of jokes on the website now. we own to count the average of views as rotten, 
driving down the tomato meter and causing the fans who have already made up their minds this is the greatest film ever to sit atop their little internet soapboxes and defend the film before they've even seen it. And most importantly, it gets them to buy pre-sale tickets. We made over a hundred million dollars mm. before anyone saw even a frame of the film. Then of course we stoke the fires by being the hollow effect. It's not for the critics, it's for the fans to trick the little sheeple into thinking they're part of some big underdog fan base, all the while we're raking in the dollars by the truckload. Because in the end, it's not quality that matters. We don't give a shit what those malleable mongoloids think. Mm. All that matters is their money. And I've got 500 million reasons why Suicide Squad is the greatest film ever made. It's facts right now. Oh. They're facts. And I thought I was an evil psychopath. I mean, this plan, this scheme. They might be the It's absolutely to... genius. Oh, to trick people on such a massive scale. It'll be the greatest joke of the century. <laughs> Now, I, now I'm I mean, think twice I mean, again. What do you think, Joker? The studio is run by a bunch of incompetence. <laughs> like, like we're all a bunch of big idiots to keep making the same mistakes again and again. <laughs> yep, y'all again record. Thanks for watching. If you like this, why not check out <laughs> hey, that was other cool, awesome man. And be sure to subscribe. Hey, he was spinning some facts, man. Content. Coming at you every Tuesday and Thursday. We also want to give a shout out to our buddy Greg Wilmot, who played the Joker in the sketch. He did a good, good job. He did a good job. Well, that's it for us. Bye now. Hey, he was spinning some facts, man. He was spinning some facts. Because, er, like, every DC trailer. It been a one like you have you want you can't wait to see the movie like every single one of them. But when you go see the movie, it be like it it, it don't be like it don't reach the uh, expectation for it. Like Batman versus Superman to me I, to me as a fan like in the for the comments I I was okay with the movie but I I can understand why people hate it. You feel me? But and then Suicide Squad it was a right movie like I said in the beginning. But I wish they had played off with Joker being the main villain, like be, like pe being like the plot twister. You know how the um, animation of Suicide Squad, that Joker. I thought that was that what they gonna do in for this move for him to, like sabotage like sabotage Harley and all the, the crew the Suicide Squad. But he didn't do nothing basically in that move, and then they cut out the scenes and all that. Like one one scene, I know they cut out. They like he threw the bomb and he said bye bye. I already did see that little part. Like he fell off, messed up, and what else? What other scene they had cut out? Um, like when he hit Harley with the gun and something. But I know that in the deleted scene, I like the the deleted scene with the Joker Harley with the little car thing. That was decent. They should have made the movie. They could have cut out something else, so so that could be in the movie. But I don't know. But well, but overall, I think DC going in the right direction with just the league by by just looking at the trailer, just how they, what they said. People still gonna buy just the league because they fanboys. I'm a fanboy. I ain't no huge fanboy, but I am. But ah. Uh, we 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 still gonna end up buying the movement um go see the movie regardless so uh, but if you like my reaction to this leave a like subscribe and share peace.